So hey guys, it's Ziant again, and I have an announcement about Titanfall. You've probably already heard about it, and I have no epic gameplay to put it with, just this really middling game on Smuggler's Cove with the freaking shotgun. But it will have to do, because of the games I've played with my friends on Titanfall, I have not gotten any that either I have recorded or that I have been happy with, so you'll have to deal. And this announcement, again, you've probably already heard about. It is the Battle Titanfall Pub Stars Tournament. It has been officially retweeted by Respawn as you are hearing this, and hopefully it'll be retweeted by a whole bunch of other people as well. It is going to be May 24th and May 31st at 1 p.m. EST plus 5 GMT or 0 GMT. I can never keep those straight. But yeah, it's gonna star people like Mantis701, The Raffle Raptor, Scanner Barkley, myself, though I will be on, unfortunately, on the backups list. Old or Chalk1, Tim Darkness, a whole bunch of other really cool people like Dark Liberator Zone, and a whole bunch of other people that whose names at this particular moment I can't quite remember, but all of them awesome people. And so we hope that we will that we will see you there on the various Twitch streams that I will help officiate as much as you can officiate with a game without a proper spectator mode, but yeah. So, Titanfall, tournament, fun times, possible prizes, a whole bunch of other cool stuff and a lot of videos coming out about this matter. Hopefully you will be able to join us on one of the many Twitch channels, mine included. I will be playing Titanfall by myself because I will be lonely. <laughs> Moving on. I want to talk about that announcement out of the way. I want to talk about competitive Titanfall as a thing. Because Titanfall as a competitive game, it doesn't quite work. Because Titanfall out of the box doesn't really work for competitive gaming. Because there's A, there's not enough content, i.e. game modes, that something like even Call of Duty 4 had a fair amount of game modes that would work for competitive games like Search and Destroy, like Sabotage, like Domination, and others. Titanfall has Attrition, Capture the Flag, and Hardpoint. And that's it. Last Titan Standing, technically, but for the player count, it's not really good. Now, the maps, of course, are, are very good for competitive, but they're built for the Titans. And Titans are not particularly favorable for a high-level competitive play, and for this reason, the tournament we're having on, again, the 24th and the 31st will be mostly pilot-based. That is to say, Titans will not play a major role. Neither will burn cards, but everything else is allowed, shotguns unfortunately included. And the thing about competitive gaming, for the most part, is that these games, they're not built for competitive in mind. Now, a game like Team Fortress 2 it's not built with competitive in mind, but it released with such robust mod tools that it's very simple to create competitive modes. A game like Counter-Strike is, in fact, built with competitive in mind, and that's why it's been so successful. But a game like Titanfall and a game like Call of Duty 4 takes massive amounts of rules augmentation in order to make competitive. Look at, a, look at console Call of Duty, even Black Ops 2 with its eSports initiative the eSports guys still had to do an absolute shit ton of stuff to that game to make it competitive. They had to limit the guns, limit the maps, limit the perks. Because developers want to primarily make money. Because their publishers that are putting footing the bill for the games want to, oh wait, they're giant businesses, they want to make money. And so they have to make these games accessible to a massive audience. The competitive scene is not. Despite what you may think if you spend a lot of time on Twitch, and I uh, sadly do, the minority are people who enjoy the competitive scene. The 10,000 people you saw on Optic Nade Shot stream, they are 1% of the Call of Duty community. Maybe 10%, but I would say 1% is a little, is a little more likely. We as YouTubers make up maybe 5 to 10% of the Call of Duty or Titanfall or Counter-Strike communities. These teams 
are celebrities on the internet only. They are not well known. You would not go to a gaming convention like Gen Con and as Titan NBK in Counter Strike and say, hey, I'm Titan NBK, love me. No one cares. No one cares. George Clooney does not know who Optic Nade Shot is. Meryl Streep does not care. George Clooney and Meryl Streep do not care who Optic Nade Shot is. They have so much more money that it's not really applicable. But more to the point, competitive Titanfall, as to stay on topic, is fairly modified and fairly pared down, even though Titanfall as a game itself is also fairly pared down. So what we have is, is pilot-only gameplay, no burn cards, no titans. Everything else is allowed, and we're playing specific maps on specific game modes. DLC is not included, despite the fact that it might be really pretty good maps, not that I've played them. And I have to reiterate that we're doing this because we want to, because we want to have a little more competition, because the thing about competitive gaming is that if you're good at a game, and you are, you will inevitably get tired of stomping on bad kids all day long. Maybe. There are, the YouTuber community certainly hasn't. But for some people, it just, it, it gets old. It's, it's not, there's not enough competition, there's not enough variety to it to really make it worthwhile. Dark Souls 2, for example, is almost going to be built on the back of its PvP community. Now, of course, Dark Souls is a PvE-centric game, but the PvP community is really big. And I, I would be remiss to say that Dark Souls 1 lasted as long as it did beca just because of the single-player component. People like competition. They like testing themselves. And competitive gaming allows that at the highest levels of play, you will get the challenge that you do not find in public play. So I'm out of time, unfortunately. I will probably do another episode on this. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you on the 24th and the 31st, and I'll see you next time.